Some people don't know what they have until it's gone. And unfortunately for somebody that you dealt with, not only did they now realize what they had in you, but this person has lost everything since you left. Let's be clear, there's many different types of people in life and even sometimes well-meaning people can be toxic. Sometimes you just go through certain types of drama and trauma in your life to where, you know, you might have certain ways that you respond and certain ways that you deal with situations that that's all you learned and you have to heal and you're in that process of doing that. But then you have other people who are toxic and they know it and they don't care and they don't have any interest to change. And these type of people, are like a disease, like a plague on the earth. To They know that they're damaged, but they have a strong desire to go about spreading this mental sickness. They want to make other people toxic like they are and be very detrimental to your mental, emotional, even physical health. Some of you, these people probably gave you different disease at one point in time or another, whether they were cured or incurable. And some of you dodged bullets in a sense that this person could have, but the Most High protected you so much that you never crossed paths or interacted with that person during those times, or you never interacted with that person, period, because you were sticking to your celibacy where you avoided some real life situations and some real life physical diseases beyond what they did to you emotionally and mentally and spiritually. The thing about this is there's somebody that has lost everything since you left. And if you're not aware of it physically, like let's say you think on the outside this person has finances or they have a job or they have a house this person doesn't have anything and even the things that they might have that's not theirs and for some of you the person that I'm speaking about they haven't lost everything yet it's in the process of happening you're gonna be surprised when you see certain things foreclosure when you see certain things getting repoed when you see them oh I thought you were working for your job and you find out they got fired six months ago ever since you left you was the very thing your energy your presence was the very thing that was delaying this person's judgment from kicking in was delaying this person person's karma. Ever since you left, not only do they not have real people in their life, even some of the people, for some of you, this person was treating you like an option and they were dealing with all these different scallywags, okay? They were dealing with all, for the fellas, they were dealing with all these, you know, good for nothings out here, okay? Men that ain't got nothing to offer, no true value, just a whole bunch of mouth and seemingly a whole bunch of swag that grown women can see through that, but everybody's at different life stages. And do you know what happened when you left? All of these quote unquote options that they thought that they had, they disappeared too. They were able to use those people or that person for whatever they wanted and they dipped. A woman left you for somebody that you did everything for that woman. You were there for that woman. You were genuine for that woman. You loved that woman. You had pure intentions for that woman. And she left you for something to play with, for something that had just maybe a little bit more swag than you at the time she thought was cooler than you. She left something that was real for something that was not only fake, but temporary and superficial on every level. She not with that person no more and if any of these people got with these people and had a child with that person god forbid they sign their death certificate that's gonna be one hell of a life that they're living with that person because they're not gonna be the only mother or father of that child for those of you who are women who genuinely loved a man who was there who even know this man might have had problems but you're like look just be true for me look, be honest with me we can work through these things i love you i can see beyond that i know that you've had a past we can work through this and this person dogs you out some of you this person talked about you to some of these people that they were dealing with behind your back. They was putting your business out there. They was clowning you. Some of these people, and I have to say this, I'm just being honest to what I'm picking up prophetically. Some of these people were laughing about you and talking about you to these people that they decided to deal with, to these people that they decided to betray you with. And guess who's laughing now? For one, those people are not no longer any options to them. They looking at them like they dumb. And for a lot of you, God has been elevating you, not just before this person that has lost everything, but before everybody that they showed you to. Because some of you, while these these people were putting you in the face and like, oh, look, this she lame. Oh, look at this guy. He lame. He ain't got nothing. Those people started paying attention to you because they saw in you what that other person was sleeping on. See, counterfeits and fake superficial people know when they're fake. You got people who do all types of fake stuff on the outside, especially, and present themselves in all types of ways, do all the things to look good, but don't got nothing to offer on the inside. And a lot of times those people, they see, they, they recognize truth when they see it because they know what fake is because they're fake. So when they see something is real, even like you might be looking at 
the person that maybe they've had all kind of work done. And this ain't to diss people with work, whatever. To each his own, do what you do. Live your best life, okay? Do you. Sometimes you have people that they have all type of work done. They know they didn't have a thousand procedures. And then you come in the room and you haven't had none of that, okay? And that person, they're very well aware of how they feel because a lot of times you can fix the outside, but that's not gonna change the core. Now, if you've changed on the inside and you decide to make some adjustments on the outside, that's different, but that's not what a lot of people are dealing with. A lot of people out here running around with full throttle body dysmorphic disorder. So they can change the outside all they want. That's not gonna change the way that they feel on the inside or even the way that they see themselves when they look in the mirror. That these are things that we don't talk about in today's society because everything is like, do you boo, do you and see where that leads you. Sometimes we wanna reflect with the most high. We don't wanna always lean on our own understanding. We wanna lean on the most high so that he can guard our path straight. But I said that to say, anyway, you might have somebody that's done all these things, even if it's a fella that he does all this, he gets his little fake man weaves and I'm not dissing any of these things family. I'm not I'm just really saying something genuinely here when I'm picking up from Holy Spirit he do all this he wear the best cologne he use Baccarat you feel me he using that expensive stuff you know whatever it is he got the little fake rent of jewelry or maybe it's raw I don't know you know never know where he got it from but they presenting themselves as all of these things and they see somebody that just come and may not got all that you might be a brother who keep yourself together but you ain't doing the most you just living a humble life trying to stay true to the Lord doing what you do you might be a female that you ain't did all that work but you're a beautiful person inside out just naturally when you're talking about fake people there might be certain type of people that you got to understand they're gonna flock to what's fake they're gonna flock to what's superficial not even necessarily but because they want it but because outside appearances because they're so insecure that they're wondering what other people are gonna think about the decisions and the people and the choices they make meanwhile the fake people the superficial people that they've chosen they looking at you like if I looked like that if I was that person if I had that if that what that person has whether it be physically mentally spiritually whatever it is I wouldn't even be doing all this that's the real deal right there if I was like that I wouldn't even have gotten to this point so I said that to say beware of that a lot of you are dealing with a person who literally they've lost everything since dealing with you and the same people that they were laughing and kicking about you too those people are watching you those people are following you for some of you those people are learning from you or those people are mimicking your moves some of you fellas some of these guys you might be doing something you might have a business where you doing your humble thing for now and these people looking at oh like oh what he do i'm trying to do that because they don't even got no real job they out here scamming and finessing they out here using women for money acting like they got money looking like they got money but really sleeping with this woman taking advantage of this woman and taking advantage of this woman and that's where they getting their money from beware we have been sent as a lamb amongst wolves and sheep's clothing it's very real so whoever this person is that we're talking about for you just know this person has lost everything this was a very fake person this is somebody that you were once invested into and somebody who you were willing to do anything to help and what they did was betrayed you what they did was returned your good for their evil and they did a lot of things behind your back and for some of you this person has been dogging to get back in your life and you don't even sniff or breathe or look in the direction of this person not physically mentally emotionally or energetically they're losing everything or have lost it all some of you are going to see about some of these people literally on the news your jaw is going to drop just make sure it doesn't hit the floor visit pretty boss tv.com if you would like to book personal prophetic guidance with me if you would like more confirmation on any of the videos that i've posted or anything that i talk about or anything else for that matter that i haven't touched you can book a personal one-on-one -on -one with me and i'll be able to give you the confirmation and the guidance that you seek also 30 days to success academy the 30 days to success official course is now available for pre-sale on pretty boss tv dot academy this is a course that will change your life this is a course that after you take it trust me you're going to recommend it to others very powerful course that we've worked through for quite some time on patreon what we did on patreon life-changing and transformative for those who participated. We did it for 365 days straight, which also gave me the ability to test it and to transform it and to get it right where it needs to be at the perfect point of transformation. That process that we've done on Patreon is now available as a course and it's 10, 100 times what we actually did on that course. By the end of this 30 days, your entire life will be different and you will have your own personalized formula and blueprint for success in any area of your life that you desire. Come join the family. Come join the membership community on patreon.com slash prettybosstv where we do daily deep dive prophetic guidance for us to stay in alignment with the most high, our purpose, and ourselves, and where we're able to connect and build each other up and be support for each other who have very similar life experiences. I love you all so very much. Thank you all for your support. I'll talk to y'all soon, y'all willing. Peace.